Hello everybody, Andrew here with the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to my French Social Republic playthrough on the Kaiser Redux submod for Kaiser, where I have spent maybe about what? 10? 10, 10? I've done 10 months off cam, roughly. Um, the CSA is wrapping up against the Pacific States, which is grand. Um, Feng Shiang government and the co prosperity sphere are, well, they're, they're pretty much mopping up the Chinese United Front at this point, and. Um, I didn't realize the Eastern Syndicalist Union was at war with them. Also looks like they managed to take some land off the Princely Federation. Well, the Princely Federation took some land. But they're finally fighting one another. Okay. Oh, you're in it, but you're not in the faction. Right, that's cool. Uh, Russia took out Latvia and Estonia, and in fact, I actually helped them win it. Uh, mainly because they were taking their sweet-ass time with it. Uh, they've got between 1 and 2 mil in their army. We've got 2 million. We're up to 204 divisions. The Germans have 2 to 3 mil. So, technically, we kind of... We'll say in that, how much does Italy have? Italy has just under 1 mil, and we've got a mil in the Union of Britain. So, I've also set everything up. Planes ready to go. We have got 600 bombers and all these fighters and close air support going over into the Benelux to hopefully bomb the crap out of these forts so these guys can have a nice easy time getting through. Now we're not going to start a second fail Craig just yet. And you may be like, Dune, come on, hurry up, let's go, let's go. Um, we are, we are. I'm just wanting to do one last thing and it's the the air bases. And again, where is it? We lost an agent. Do you know what? They're not even in any of the areas. Do you know what? Stuff that. We're going. We're going now. Demand Alsace Lorraine. Now we also have the uh, them decrypted. I am currently working on doing the Belgians, which we'll probably get whilst we're at war with them. We have 20 divisions in Konstantin Rokozovsky, um, holding this part of the front. And then we have another 12 divisions holding the opposite side. You'll notice that the land forts are up to 7. Currently still working on some, but they, they should not be able to punch through here. Do have a small little group of planes that hopefully get air superiority there because I don't think there'll be too much coming from uh, Iberia. Now, I was maybe slightly against calling in Norway. Well, I mean, calling in the Union of Britain right now. Just because Norway will get destroyed. I don't want them to get destroyed that quickly. They, they, they're distracting troops up there. In fact, I don't know where, I don't know where they, they are. I know there's a lot of troops down in here. Where the hell are they here? I'm presuming they're going to be coming. We've got random batches of big blobs. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a death stacker anyways, thanks to the Belgians having a decent sized army. Oh my gosh, we better watch out for the bicycle divisions. They will destroy us. I'm just going to spam out six factories in there. Civilian factories, I think we'll spend some time building some more civvies. Cool. I like to think we'll be fine. Um, I've went ahead and got the Red Grand Army, National Spirit, as well as Military Academy, because I have went ahead. I forgot to point out I've done the uh, the Army section of the Focus Tree. Now the Germans have roughly four to five point two k. We've got five k. We've got five k. We've not got five thousand planes up in the air. How's the Union of Britain doing for... Meh, it's alright. They have a decent sized navy though, which is great. Because we, we're we not doing so great on ships. I was tempted to do a naval invasion, but I feel like the 509 that we're going to be up against from the Germans could could be quite, uh, quite uh, dangerous to our fleet. Yeah, I think... The Pacific states are kind of down and out now. Zero manpower, 24 to 45 divisions. Yeah, they're not going to stand a chance against the, the CSA now, finally. Wilfred Dunderley. Canadian, British, and British. Yes. I forgot we have TE Lawrence as well. They're all on just counterintelligence. Just uh, cause since, you know, it's important. Active level important foreign powers have a foot in the country. 
which I think we can safely say will be the Germans. Now, the great thing about us going to war with uh, the Marshal in charge there goes the Pacific States. We have so much manpower and we're only on limited conscription. The Germans right now are on volunteer only and they still have 200k left so this this could be a long war. This could be a long war and if it is I can guarantee you we'll be doing a time lapse. Do I have faith in the Russians? Good we're all in green. Good 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 good. Excellent. The end of the American Civil War. Now, the one thing I am kind of concerned by is our, um, well, our fuel. That could quickly deteriorate and diminish. So it could. We could always try and push into Spain, but I think we'll just sit and defend. There is a lot of divisions over here in Spain, and I don't understand why. I think our forts might actually be the same strength as what they are over here. They are. Wow, they are. They're not getting through us. It's been that. I'm just hoping they don't naval invade. Do you know what? We might actually go ahead. I think we've got time to deal with that. Should do. I just want to have a little batch. A small batch of troops just in case they do naval invade. Mashriki Kingdom. Oh yes, the Ottomans are still fighting on. They are they are still fighting on. Which good 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 for them. Good for them. Oh, we have some Germans arriving back over here. No, you could just give us Alsace Lorraine and just, you know, avoid this war. You know, that that's that's always something you could do. Um, do you know what? Where is it? Let's do this. And the Azus ultimatum. The Germans refuse. Boom. Hey, 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 you dicks. Right, airplanes. So, we have you. We have you, and we have you, and then we have, bam. Gonna get them just to target the forts. Instant air superiority. CSA's want to send us. Oh, Jack Reed's here. Second Velcraig. The world is at war once again. Come and join us. What? Do I have to be at peace? A oh, peace with Germany. Gosh dang it. We'll do it, but I don't know if we're going to go to war with them. Do we still have air superior over the Benelux? We do. Although they also have quite a lot of planes. What are we facing up against here? No. Wow. Italians are trying to push through it. We might actually have to divert some additional planes into... Into the Benelux. Are the Belgians in yet? Aha, they are. Right, come on bombers, I'm relying on you now. What? Ah, oh, peace with Belgians. Oh, my days, right. I've got planes over here. Boom. Let's get the naval bombers in the air. Done any damage to fortifications yet? Oh, 
Oh, we have some damage. We have some. We have some damage sustained on some of them. See, this this would be the best place to push, ideally. Ah, they've went ahead and joined us. Good for them. We're facing off against 3,000 planes in there. I think the Germans must have moved some of their troops by. What an absolute mess that is. See if I turn everyone on here. What, what kind of damage can we do? Did the Germans just decrypt us? Because if so, I'll decrypt you back, boys. How about that? Two can play that game. Bulgaria has joined the Reich's pack. The Mashriki Kingdoms capitulated again. Oh, we can break through here. We're still holding our own in there, actually. The only issue is we're going to be losing so many men doing this offensive. Oh yes, we're out of guns already. Oh, although, although, we are getting the breakthrough. We're getting the breakthrough. Yes, thank you for these guns. Because we're forcing them to retreat, but it's fine. I think this could actually work in our favour. Oh, look at everyone sending those guns. Thank you so much. We are 4,000 short. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I shall remember your kind kindness. It's all about just keeping them pinned in. I know we're losing... We're not, well, we're losing a decent portion of manpower, I guess, but... Once we break Belgium, we've broken them, and you know, it'll be much, much better for us. Because Belgium's, Belgium's quite, it's the best way to push, I feel. Um, so, aha, and with our cipher completed on them, yes, fair enough. They, they still have plenty of support from elsewhere, but. From other nations but at least we should hopefully be able to take them out peace conference ha 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 the danish have already bloody peace out it's absolutely roast in this back room today see see today it's so muggy absolutely it's, it's ridiculous in fact how muggy it is did we kill oh we're doing we're doing good in the air over there and um, how are we doing in the benelux Oh yes, the entire German Air Force is now just chilling in Belgium. We lost 180,000. I say only, we are 10,000 guns short, but I feel like we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Once the Belgians capitulate. Can we, can we sneak through here? Oh, come on lads. I just really want to get through here, though. Because then we can get the encirclement as well. I'm going to divert even more troops that way. We are definitely going to have to hold our horses once the Belgians have died. Once the Belgians have died, we're going to take a nice wee little break deal with with our deficits of equipment. What are we doing for light tanks? Jo, I don't think we're actually going to need them, so we'll bin them. That should help us out slightly. Yep, we're only 1,000 short now. 
And we got 40 days of fuel left, though. That's a bit concerning for us. Not gonna lie. Just some fresh trips in the greens. Come on. Come on, boys. It could happen. It could be happening. Don't want anyone backing away from this. I want everyone on this. Now, I'm quite shocked. The Russians have not came a-knocking yet. They're going after Mongolia. Interesting. Interesting development there. I'm surprised they haven't thought... Do you know what? Second Velcroy time. Let's go. Intervene. Okay, it looks like we might have to take one for the team here and just send some troops into Mets to try and just hold them from reinforcing because they are on the move. Come on, I have faith in us. Oh, we have air superiority again. Come on. Seven days. Tank, 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 tank. That way. No, oh, you, this way as well. How did the Italians lose some of their land? You idiots. Come on. Come on. Three days. Oh, they've reinforced. Oh, you jammy sons of guns. There we go. There we go. Russia's here. I've never been so happy to see you before, Russia, but welcome to the fun house. Welcome, sir, to the fun and games. Oh, would you look at that? We're making more breakthroughs over there. However, we're not making them where I want to actually make them. Now, can you just bomb in there for us? See if we can actually just break that last four. Wait, what? Germany declared war on Bulgaria? Or oh, call, call them in. Call them in. They didn't declare war on them. Come on. Do it for us. Break them. Oh my gosh, we might actually be breaking them in here. That's awkward. They only have level 4 forts there? Eh? Come on, three days, two days. Now, there is folks staying behind, right? We're not all just going to jump forward. Another ace pilot. Yes, 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 yes. On you go, on you go. Let's cut off the Germans. Wow, Bulgaria's dead already. Ha! <laughs> They're trying to push through my forts over there. What a stupid move that is. Okay, bombers, you've done your job, mate. Come back into the Benelux and just help us destroy them. Divisions are retreating. Quickly. Yes. Overrun. Overran. Sorry. Over... Over... Whatever. <laughs> oh, no. Not Malta. How will we ever survive without Malta? Sene Gambia has cancelled the lend lease. That is... That is fine, boys. We should get some guns from dealing with the Belgians, so... Should. Yep, that's that's the encirclement. That is the encirclement. So... And why why is their front so weak? Can we, can we actually just walk right through? If I just take half of those selected... I wanted half of them. Oh no, I'm splitting them. There we go, I'll just do that.
Germany. What are you doing, mate? How are the Russians getting on? Eh, who cares? They're, they're, that doesn't really matter how they get on, as long as we can win. And we're really hoping we get some guns from dealing with uh, from Belgium here. Not that I'm like completely concerned at our lack, because we'll, we'll manage. As you can see, we are managing. We're actually going to be pushing through the main port line. Ah, uh, the AI. Casualties now. Yeah, we may have lost almost 600k, but once this is dead, ho, ho, ho. I'm not Santa Claus, but yes, we are going to... We're going to we're gonna pump that right up. Can we take Brussels, please? I feel like that might just finish them off, the Belgians. Zantwerp's also being pushing against right now. You keep going. Keep pushing forward, lads. How are we doing in the south? Ah, uh, we're fine. How's the airspeed already? Absolutely golden. We've still got 41 days left of fuel. Which is good. Do you just want to push into the liege? I feel like what I should just do is I should just draw offensive lines for all these guys. Because there is some divisions that are actually on it. Maybe not all of them, but... Oh, that actually changes the plan thing there. I didn't notice that before. That is the first time I've ever noticed that. Aggressive, boys. Take no bloody prisoners. That is our motto. I feel like that's our motto for every playthrough. Just kill them all. Oh, that was a nice overrun there. Oh, nice. And there goes the Belgians. Who gave us 22,000 guns? So, yeah, we're in the green, boys. We're in the green. Crush them, please. 